Hey guys, it's Tarsen here. Today I want to talk to you about probably one of the most important things in Path of Exile, and that is loot filters. Uh, I've just decided to showcase right now. This is an ultimatum on a tier 16 beach map, and this is a metamorph. That's what it would look like if I was using a semi strict filter. And the reason why this is really, really bad, because there's a ton of items I don't want here. Uh, there's barely any of these items I want to pick up at this point of the league. And I'll go through the different stages of what I want to pick up during the lead and how I decide how to make my loot filters. But quickly, let me just show you. We're using a semi-strict normal. This is what a very strict normal filter would look like. It's a little bit less cluttery, but I still feel like... Let's pick up a chisel, a chancel, a scouring, for example. And if I were to look at these and see how many of those this is per an exalted orb, I'd have to pick up 460, which I feel like is kind of learned. For chance orbs, you have to pick up 1300. I definitely don't want to pick those up. And for scourings, now it's not selling me, but again, the scours aren't worth that much, so you still need to pick a bunch of them up. But the same for chromatic orbs. So what I do is I make my own ones. I suck with the very strictest league, but um, it's pretty easy to change. And even though I've made my own custom filter, I can see there's barely anything showing up. At this point in the league for me, I don't really want to pick up Crimson Jewels anymore. And more King Vans for the first like a week of the league, I could sell for 5 to 10c per in bulk, but I think now they're around 3 to 4c. They're okay to still have if you're running a lot of Lexi Jarvis, but I just quickly want to go over how I make my loot filters and how I'm like without very much effort, you can take away all the mess in your screen. So it's only items that you want to pick up. And I think this is, this is you should treat it a little bit like underwear. Right, um, I think every loot filter you should try and make your own, but uh, I just try to go over how I do it and why I do it. So let me just load into my own V strict filter. That is what I've called it. These were the two default ones we just showed. So, for example, the currency tab is probably the most important one, right? Here are all the good stuff that we don't really want to change, but when we start to come down here, right? I don't really want to show jeweler swaps anymore. There's a lot of things here you can click on or off, right? But Basically, you just, if you see something you don't want in your loot filter, right? Let's say I don't want to see a best area up. I can click this away and done. Now you never see it again. You don't want to see an upper binding. You don't want to pick those up. You click the X. And if there's an entire category you don't want to see, right? Let's just go a little bit further down. If you think all of these things are annoying to look at and you never want to see them, you can just click hide and uh, they will not show up on your filter. Now, I think there's a lot of subsections and it's really, really hard to like remember exactly where everything is so let's just see i don't want the jewels to show up anymore let's just go to jewels here mud filtering jewels one right now i have some of this showing right i can just click disable i never want to see jewels again at this point of the league uh and that, and that should be it uh it's pretty much that simple right let's just look at some of the other uh identif that's identified so, how do I find it to corrupt it, for example? Uh, disable. It was for interesting months. Disable. I guess there's a whole bunch of jewels, right? Um, I don't hide all of them, honestly. <laughs> These have already hidden, as you can see. They're uh, they're grayed out. Um, let's look at unique jewels. There's nothing there. Let's look at normal jewels. I don't want to look at these anymore, since I don't think they're fun to pick up. Now, taking that away. Um, but else was showing our showing contracts, right? And now we don't see the jewels at all. Large class jewels, hell yeah, I like those, but let's look at um contracts, blueprint. Let me go to here. Uh I don't have any interest in picking up blueprints anymore and selling them, so the contracts, I think I've already hidden all already, so I don't need to worry about those. Unique contracts. I've never seen one, so I can just let it go. But for blueprints in general, uh, I'll just click hide, right? I'm not interested in picking them up. I'm not interested in selling them. So, I don't know. <laughs> if it gets you an error, it's probably disabled. So now it uh, shouldn't show that anymore. And one thing you can do is like unique maps. I suppose we should do it, right? I don't really want them, right? These are good. I want to show these. Cold Yard, Curse Crypt. Uh, which one is Curse Crypt again? It's so hard to remember all of these. But I think all of these are fine, right? But all of the lower tiers... I don't really think we care about too much. So let's just start hiding them, right? I'm never going to sell these. I've already run all the ones I need to run. Um, I think we're good, right? We'll just leave the two highest tiers and everything else will go away. And I suppose I also want to take a look at unique items because I'm showing a lot of um, relevant unique items on my current loot filter. 
Uh, so where should you go? I'm just gonna just type unique. Uh, unique items, maybe? I mean, I'm not a professional at this by all means, right? So, I, I try to do this for dummies, right? I don't know, it's, I think it's kind of annoying to try to look absolutely everywhere, so I want to use this searching mechanic as much as possible, but... Um, let's just see if we can find it, right? See if we can find some of the uniques. Here, unique items. So the tier 1 ones, they're not super intrusive, right? We don't really care about those, but... Uh, let's just click down a bit to all of these that are still showing. Like, I don't think we care about any of these. I guess the Jade Amulet, if you wanted to. Let's just move the Jade Amulet over here, right? So in case you do a breach and you see um, that. You want to move it to this? Yes, 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 I want to. Is there anything else? I mean, the camps doesn't sell for much at this point. Granite Flask is nothing that overlaps with... Leather belts. I want to see leather belts. Right? We want to see if a leather headhunter shows up. I'm adding the leather belt up here. Making sure it's there. A unique small cluster jewels. I don't... I mean, if you get a hollow palm, it's worth something. But I don't think I've ever seen it, right? I don't think I've ever seen it. And I don't think there's anything here at this point of the league that's worth anything at all. And then post us if you... I don't know. I haven't dropped one in the entire league. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to hide all of these uniques so I don't need to look at them anymore. Let's quickly go over here. The biggest things I'm looking for is like, let's say a sulfur flask. If you do a cortex, that thing will show up. Like, I'm looking at uniques that might drop on buses as well that I need to, you know, um, make sure I don't forget. But as far as I can tell, I don't want to look at any of these uniques anymore. I don't think any of them can be anything too crazy that I'm going to cry myself to sleep over. They're already hidden, I guess. So now, by doing that, let's just um, save and load this right now. I'll go to my own filter here. I'll click save. Now all of these changes have been saved. All I have to do is go here. See, so now it, it tells you... <laughs> it's kind of cool, right? It shows you the three items that we hidden that you might think that, hey, are you sure you want to have this hidden on your filter? Which I'm absolutely okay with, right? So now I just click sync with PoE. I will click V-Strict because that's the filter I'm currently running and I'll click apply. And there we go. Now you give it a few seconds and then let's see what happens. If it's already updated or not. I click refresh. Didn't do nothing. I might have to wait a little bit longer. Oh wait, it did something, right? Look at that. It's not showing all the jewels and the and the and the <laughs> blueprints and all that stuff, right? And what this really does to you, right? It just makes it really easy to filter what you want. Instead of having showing all of these things that you might think is worth it, you might not think it's worth it. I don't think you should necessarily copy my loot filter, right? But I I just want to show you how you can do it. And, for example, for the first two days of the league, I show absolute, absolute everything. I pick up all jewelry, I pick up all boots, I pick up all bonds to see if I can get some items that I need, right? But then day two of the league, I probably go to semi-strict, very strict. And then, you know, from day four and five in the league onwards, I keep customizing my filter. Once uh, Legion Sprint start being worthless, I take days away. If there's some incubators I don't like, I take those away, etc, etc, etc. But I don't think enough people know about filter blade and how easy it is to just... I think the most common one is like um, currencies, right? If you take those away that you don't want to see chance ops or chromatic ops and whatnot. Um, I guess unique maps gets kind of boring after a while. And then there's a lot of league specific things, right? A lot of league specific things that I think after a while you want to take away. I'm really bad at filtering like this. I need the search function, which, uh, which is great, right? Let me just find, for example, timeless fragments. Reach and Legion Spenders, right? So in stacks, it's great, but, um, like, there's just a lot of these sprinters that are not worth anything, right? Uh, let me just go to my hideout and quickly show that when I'm ready, and you a full breach stone or a full, you know, timeless emblem is just not worth a lot at this point of the league, right? So let's just take a carry emblem. That's 14C. That means you have to do 100 clicks to make 14C. That is not worth the pain on my fingers. Heck no. And the same as like, like stuff, breach stones, it's 100 clicks for 12 seeds. I, I don't know. I kind of view it as like clicks per chaos or clicks per exalt. And if I want to play this league for a long amount of time, I need to save the this, this strength in my fingers. And it just comes down to how far into the league and how much do you need 12 C, right? If you think 100 clicks is worth 12 seeds to you, you should absolutely keep the, 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 the sprinters and drops in once, right? But I don't want to show up. The only sprinters I show up right now is like Cheula and Unetal. 
it's 100 click to 60c like I, it's, it's not the best but it's all right right it's almost one to one chaos you want to click up a chaos up right and these are still worth a lot of money so i showed these two for example but and these two because they were i mean i could even hide these right because i guess it's half a c per and it's not the end of the world I'll, I'll 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 click anything that's worth half a c let's put it at that right but everything else i try to hide at this point of the league and that's kind of what i debased my decisions on and it's really 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 easy to set up your own filters to just not show a lot of clutter the more they're showing up on the screen the longer you have to process what you think is worth picking up when you can just spend you know every time you run a map or two and you see oh there's a bunch of things i really don't care about anymore let me just go to filter plate that xyz and uh, click them away you update it and you don't even have to reset your game all we did was just go into our settings here right click the little refresh icon when we're good to go it updated the loot straight away i think if you're not already doing this you should definitely do it it's super simple all you have to do is um if i log out now let me try and log back in right it just asks you to sign in with poe and since I've already logged in with PewDiePie on my other browser, I just click authorize and now I'm in. Now I'm in and I'm ready to go to make your own load filter. Um, now, I don't recommend doing this. I do think you should treat your uh, load filters like your underwear. You don't want to share it or your tube breath, whatever you want to say. But let's just pretend you just really want my filter, right? You can type in profile names of uh, other people. Or if you want to share it with your friends, you're like, yo, dude, I made a super sick load filter. If you want it, you can type in their account name here. You can click go, and since you saw in this video, my filter is called V-Strict, you can just simply steal it. I don't recommend doing this, but it's an option you have, and I thought I'd just show it at the end here. Uh, but I hide a lot of things, so you might miss something you don't want, but then you can take this and you can customize it your own as well. I think that's it for this video. We have touched the surface of just about everything. We're about 12 minutes in, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make some badass loot filters. You save a lot of clicking your fingers and you start making even more currency because you only see things that you want to click up yourself. I hope you have an amazing rest of the league and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, to end things off, I'm going to leave a few links in the description down below. I'm going to leave a link to Neversync's Twitter, to his Twitch channel. He's the guy who goes out of his way every single league to make this badass website, to make all the filters that you normally use, right? I'm, but guarantee you, if you play Path of Exile, you use the Neversync, Finkle, oh, Neversync filter. So uh, I'm going to shout him out down in the description. I'll shout out to my own things. And uh, I'll see you guys. Have a, have a good day. Bye-bye.